All right, what's up, guys? How do you actually confirm the bounce before you enter a trade? Well, I'm going to show you in today's video exactly how I do that in my trade. All right, welcome guys. Just a very short educational video for you guys that is sponsored by Crypto.com. So you probably already know all about them, but it's the actual, the only single exchange where you have over 200 uh, pairs to trade with, with over 10x leverage, and you have over 40 futures contracts that you can trade on the exchange. And the you will actually be giving daily reward on your balances on the exchange without any lockup period. And newly listed token, guys, you're able to buy them with up to 50 50% uh, 50 discount and if you use the link in the description below you will be given $50 in CRO which is their native token so check it out guys it's basically free money hit the link in the description below all right today's video just an ed a quick educational video where I am going to show you how I confirm the bounce before I enter a trade so you probably already know you know my my, my, my trading system if you've been following me for a while I look for a trend and if it's long, I want an uptrend, right? And the whole idea is to go long on the dips of the uptrend if it's confident with a horizontal level and, and uh, some of my indicators, which is basically only the uh, daily 20 and 50 EMA with the four hour 20 and 50 EMA. And I then add monthly, weekly open with FIB levels and the stochastics are aside. That's everything I use. But how do like I, I don't I don't set blind orders. I wait for confirmation of a bounce. But how do I actually confirm that it's a bounce before I enter? Well, I'm gonna show you that. I have three different setups for you: two in the forex market and one altcoin. Look at these. Pretty clear. They look almost the same. The trend is very clear: higher highs and higher lows. And that's what I look for, right? Very very clear trends is what I want to see. All right. First up is USD CHF. This was a long that I went, uh, wanted to take because we had a major high time frame break in mock structure when we had, you know, we had a downtrend coming here and then we kind of broke that mock structure right here with a higher high and higher low and then a higher high and I want to go long on the next higher low right here. So first of all, what am I looking for here? Well, I'll, I'm looking for price to hit either the 4 hour 20 or 4 hour 50 EMA and the 50% uh, FIB or the area between the 0 0.618786 uh, and the 0 0.618, which is the RLC, right? In this case right here, on this example, we hit the 50% FIB perfectly. And I'm also then looking at the Stochastics RSI. So the Stochastics RSI needs to be below 30 when buying and above 70 when uh, selling, right? So... We saw the price hit a very interesting area. Stochastics is looking very good. Now, what I wanted to see, like I went down into the one hour and saw that we had a, a break in market structure on the one hour, like somewhere, somewhere around here. And we then had a nice four hour bullish candle right here with a stochastics bull cross right here. Now, normally what I do is like, this is my entry trigger. This candle right here with the stochastics RSI at an interesting level and you have around the bottom, that is my entry trigger. And if the risk to reward is good right here, if I enter here with stops, you know, below this area, if the risk to reward is good, I'm going to take that trade and I'm going to take that position. But in this case right here, the risk to reward was just not that good. So what I did instead was I saw a good level here on the one hour and just placed my bids here because the setup was already confirmed, but I was just, you know, trying to get lucky in a sense. You know, this usually works out pretty well, but I, you know, if price just runs and never hits my, my entry here, well, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because the risk to reward weren't that good anyway. To get a fill down here with stops here would be much better risk to reward. So that's, that's basically what I'm looking for, right? A rounded bottom, nice bullish candle that kind of breaks market structure, rounded retest, rounded bottom, bullish candle that breaks market structure with a stochastic or a side bull cross below 30. Next setup is the Australian dollar versus USD. And you can see here as well. Now, this is the only screenshot I have. This is, you know, I went through my journal and I looked at it, some old trades that I wanted to share with you guys. You can kind of see here that we have a couple of different entry triggers right here. Now, this is obviously the, the trade that I took. 
I remember um, we had round the bottom on the trend line area, the 50% Fib and the 20 EMA in the four hour. We had a stochastics bull cross with that candle right here. And I then looked at the one hour and saw that there were a pretty nice level here in the one hour. So I placed my bids right below. Price went down like this and then hit TP1 and TP2 and then, then get stopped out somewhere down here. But the entry is, is the same, right? Uh, stochastics RSI bull cross below 30, strong bullish candle with around the bottom. And if the risk reward is good, I would have entered here, but it's, it, it wasn't. So I decided to put orders a little bit lower. Here's another one, right? Hits a hits the trend line here, hits the four hour 20 EMA, four hour stochastics bull cross, four hour bullish engulfing. You could have entered on that candle with stops below here, right? Now, this wouldn't be a trade that that would be taking, but the entry trigger would still be the same, right? Four hour bullish engulfing, low time frame break in market structure on an important level with a stochastics or a side bull cross below 30. Now, let's look at the last setup here. This is on GRT and altcoin, right? And same thing here. Well, very not the same thing, but it's very similar, right? Actually, this whole trade right here was actually based on that bounce, that bounce right here, which happened inside the reload zone of the fib measured from that low to this high you have a very nice bounce right here you have the stochastics or saw bull cross below 30 and sometimes i'm gonna take a trade even if the idea doesn't line up perfectly at the entry point but it might be the case that we had like a perfect entry trigger here and dime price move moved up and above a, a beautiful horizontal level right here. And the fact that we already had a perfect buy signal here, you might want to think that, well, if the perfect entry was here, why not enter on the break and retest of this level, which kind of looks very similar, and then have a wider stop loss? Because if this was the, the, the best entry, and price is about to move higher, it shouldn't move lower than this. If it moves down here, it's invalidated. And the risk to reward was pretty good on this one. So as you can see right here, what happened was a strong bullish candle on the four hour. I placed my orders on the horizontal level right here, confident with the four hour 20 EMA. And boom, show, you know, just shot up straight to the last TP right here. All right, guys. Hopefully this makes sense. It's a quick video for you guys, and I would like for you to check this out, the back test this, go to trading view, look at whatever shot you want, and check the relationship between price making a rounded retest down to the uh, previous resistance area. Now hopefully support. Look for look for a four hour bullish engulfing on an interesting level at the same time as you're getting a, a four hour stochastic bull cross below 30. I guarantee you, you're going to find a lot of interesting setups and perhaps start implementing that in your own trading. All right, guys, take care and see you guys in the next one.